This morning in the Modern Parent, if you're expecting, now is the time to start planning for child care. Here to tell us why is Director of Cadence Academy Preschool, Heather Grocott. Welcome back. Good morning. It may seem early for a lot of people, um, but I remember doing this when I was expecting my son of, you, you got to get a jump on daycare, and it's never really too soon to start thinking about it, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're absolutely right, and I think that, um, especially first-time parents, they don't necessarily understand how soon they have to look for child care mm -hmm. if they are going to be in need because I think we're excited that we're having a baby and all of that joy and excitement. Um, and sometimes we forget to think about, okay, when mm -hmm. I have to go back to work and my, my partner has to go back to work, where's the baby gonna go? Right, because not everyone is fortunate to maybe have the ability to stay home with their child or to have family members help out so they rely on a daycare and one it gets it checks another thing off of that list right you, you have it down maybe you put a deposit and whatnot but the, the ratio of, of student to teachers at a very young age is something to consider. Yes, so I think um, parents get frustrated because many programs are, are typically full, for, especially for infant care. Mm -hmm. And the reason really is twofold. So as you said, it's the ratio. So we can have fewer children in a classroom physically right. um, with, you know, we have either a four to one or sometimes a three to one ratio. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a preschool program, you're looking at nine or, or 10 to one. So right. the ratio is certainly a factor, but the other thing is if, if you think about it if a child even you know enters a program at three or four months old chances are they won't be moving to the next classroom till they're 18 months old mm -hmm. so an infant can really consume an enrollment slot for up to a year or more at a time uh, so that's a big part of it then however old your your child is when they are entering the daycare world it, it could mean um, availability or not. Yes, I, I mean, as a general rule of thumb, the older a child is, mm -hmm. the more slots open up, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what should you be paying attention to when you are, because you should be looking at a few different options and finding that right fit for you, even in terms of the drop-off times or the pickup, whatever it is, the proximity to, to where you need the care, but what should you be considering? You know, I think that, you know, everybody looks at standard things, the facility, the teachers, um, all of that, mm -hmm. but um, I always say to new families, it really is all about the feel. Yeah. So when you as a parent or a soon-to-be parent walk into that school, how do the people around you make you feel? Mm -hmm. um, and how does that feeling match with your own, you know, family value system? Um, you know, what, what type of approach does the, the program take? Right. Um, so you can certainly, you know, have a list of items that you're, you're going to ask, mm -hmm. but I always, you know, tell tell families it's, a, it's about that feeling. You almost yeah. can't describe it until you're there. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like being a parent in general. Any decision you make, it's like if it feels good to your gut, make yes. that decision. Trust I'm your gut. Yeah. Right, right. Um, and, and even to like the, the credibility of the folks. I know you guys have talked about, you know, the high standards you have for your employees at Cadence too. You want to make sure that they're all up to date on certifications and whatnot as well. Sure. So, so um, you know, here in Rhode Island, you want to look at the star rating. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a bright star system here in Rhode Island that measures the, the quality level of the school itself. Um, but also thinking about, you know, what are the certifications of the teachers? Are they CPR and first aid certified? All of those really important details. Yeah. I mean, you can't take care of a kid. You want to make sure whoever is, is there, you know, the, your kid, child is in the best hands. Heather, Absolutely. Thank you yeah. so much for coming in. If you want to review this helpful advice from Heather and many more Modern Parent segments, you know where to go, roadshow.com.